All right, good afternoon and happy Sunday to everyone. This is Anthony with Bleacher Bums Gaming, and we are back with another uh, Glory Days College football demo. This time we're going to be using the full quick play mode, and this will be the first uh, video on the channel with the all-time great team set using the quick play mode. And as a reminder, uh, Glory Days College football was released Friday uh, via PDF on sidelinestrategy.com which is also the home of Joe Bryan's great uh, payoff pitch baseball and also uh, Glory Days Boxing, our first release. So in today's video, uh, we are going to take a look at 1997 Michigan versus 1959 Syracuse. And again, this will be full quick play mode, um, mainly so I can highlight a couple of things on this mode and also to give you an idea of the difference between this and hybrid. Um, again, using the all-time great team set. Both teams in this uh, game have 10 drives per game, which, uh, of course, will equate to 10 after adding together and dividing by 2. Uh, quickly going over their offensive and defensive drive ratings, and again, quick play mode, basically the drive is simulated in two parts, a initial part to get into plus territory, and then a drive finishing Part, and if the drive stalls inside of the 10, there is an extra roll of the 1D20 to get the um, basically potential one more play for a touchdown. And, and that was a, uh, I guess, game mechanic that was put in just to uh, even out the percentages of field goals versus touchdowns in quick play mode to uh, better match the hybrid and play-by-play -play versions of this game. So uh, for stats, Michigan on their uh, initial drive is an 8 offense, 12 defense. When they are in possession of the ball, they will go minus 2. And again, the drives are determined in this chart right here. So a minus 2 would have them go in this row every time. Syracuse basically broke even. They are a 0, so they'll go in the um, default row. And then for the second portion of the drive, Michigan will stay in minus two, and Syracuse will actually get a slight boost to the plus one row. And then for uh, the goal line finishing sequence, both teams' adjusted goal line ratings are a 10, which you see here on the end of the score sheet. So basically, we'll be on this score sheet the entire time, or this tab of the Excel helper the entire time, as we do not need to utilize play-by-play -play mode. And then at the end, of course, we will go through and um, balance out and assign the stats to individual players. And the uh, Excel helper, again, takes stats from both tabs if you're using hybrid, transfers them to the visitor and home stat helpers, and then with some adjustments and adding in or distributing the uh, simulated portions of the drive to the individual players, you can get full stats for every player takes just a couple of minutes to do after the game is over. And the one thing that's a reminder in the quick play mode, you're not going to get as big a variance in stats as you do in hybrid and obviously play by play just because they both incorporate play by play aspects and also a, a variety of adjustments that can come into play there. But you will still get, if you're doing a quick play season or if you want to uh, simulate Again, if you're doing a single team replay and want to simulate games of the other teams on their schedules with or without stats, you can still get some stats to a show for it that are not going to be as dialed in as hybrid or play-by-play, -play, but will still give you a, a fairly realistic portrayal of the teams. So that said, uh, Michigan, they run the ball 63% of the time. Their yards per carry were four. Syracuse's defensive adjustment is minus 1.4. Syracuse, 76% of the time, 5.3 per carry. Michigan's defensive adjustment is minus 1.7. We already did the rolls for completion percentage. Uh, Greasy for Michigan will hit at 64% this game. And Surratt for Syracuse will hit at 60%. And this row here is where you get those rolls pregame on a 1d6. So that's basically it. And again, we'll be using the um, optional penalty rule. So normally, if you're not going to use the optional pe penalty rule for simulated portions of the drive, you, you would just roll um, the t D10s and a D20. Here we will add the D6s, and any time it comes out to an even roll, we will check for a penalty. 
And again, if and when that occurs, I'll uh, go into more detail on that because we did have a couple of questions on that on the Facebook group. So we're ready to go. Michigan uh, will be receiving the kickoff. And again, uh, five plays a half for each team. Michigan gets three in the first quarter, Syracuse two in the set or three in the second. Uh, second half, it's going to be Syracuse three in the third and Michigan three in the fourth. So we're ready to go, and let's see where uh, Michigan starts with the ball as Syracuse tees it up. And Syracuse, they are a D on kickoff. That's going to come down at the 10-yard line, a 6 on the return for the Wolverines, who go out of the C column, and that's going to be a 25-yard return. So Michigan, a uh, good field position to start off on their own 35. And here we go, full quick play mode. <coughs> Excuse me. So again, no penalties, so these do not factor in at all. Uh, 91 is the roll, and 91 in the minus 2 roll on the drive chart. It's going to be a, a possible fumble. The D20 takes us to the fumble yards chart, and that's going to be 3 plays, 8 yards. And if they do retain possession, they're going to have to kick. So you will uh, document that here. Now for the fumble in uh, quick play mode, there is a fumble adjustment of or basically turnover and sack adjustment of plus three. Uh, and this accounts for the fact that you're not going to get nearly the opportunity that you would in play by play or uh, hybrid mode. So this will uh, bring turnovers that are a little bit low in quick play. This will bring them more in line when the chance does occur. So Michigan, their normal fumble is 1-8. to eight. That's going to get kicked to 1-11 to 11 with the adjustment. Minus 2 for Syracuse's adjustment. So 9 or less, Michigan loses it. And it's a 14. They do not, but they're going to have to punt. All right, so punt teams come on, and the Wolverines' punting unit is an E. Syracuse's punt return is a D. So neither special teams, very exceptional there. And it's a uh, 89 for the Wolver. I'm sorry, 8 on the punt. That's going to be a 39-yarder. That's going to go down to the 18-yard line. And Syracuse on the return, 9. That's going to the team chart. So we'll go off this column here, and Syracuse on the return in eight. That's going to be a no return, so they will take over on the 18 for their first drive. Syracuse, of course, led by the uh, rushing tandem of Baker and Davis, and that would be the legendary and tragic story of Ernie Davis. Uh, died of cancer after his uh, college career was over. So no penalty again on this, and 61 on the um, zero call or zero row on the drive chart is going to be a successful drive for Cuse. Uh, 18, and again you reference that based on where the field position starts. So they are inside the 20. It's going to be a six-play, 64-yard drive for Syracuse to start things off, and that's going to get it all the way down to the. Um, 18-yard line of the Wolverines, so second portion of the quick play drive as they will look to finish this off. And again, no penalty, roll of 80, and 80 now we are on the plus one chart, and 80 is going to be a big play run two, so that should actually get it into the end zone from here. And now you use the 1D20 to see who the ball carrier is, and that's going to be Ernie Davis. So you would document that here, big play run Davis. And again, the uh, Excel helper will determine the uh, number of carries uh, and add the big play carries into the simulated portion. So off the big play two run chart for uh, Syracuse, BPR two, roll of one, that's going to be a 41-yard run, so comfortably in there, 18-yard touchdown run for Ernie Davis. And Syracuse bolts out to the early lead in this one, 6-0 pending the extra point. And we will give Davis credit for his touchdown over here. And the extra point, uh, quick play, you don't roll the uh, penalties there. You would on a field goal attempt. However, a kick is up and good. And that's going to make it 7-0. And Michigan now finding themselves in an early hole. Brian Greasy at the helm for the Wolverines. Okay. 
and kickoff, and that is going to be a touchback. So Michigan's going to start their second drive on the 25-yard line. Greasy comes back out, and again, no penalty. is 0-4, though. They're going to get stuffed, and they're going to have to punt. So Syracuse defense showing up early in this one. And again, um, we know realistically a team from 1959 would not hang with a team from 1997. So the ratings on these all-time great teams are neutralized to make it competitive within the set. And basically, uh, what if all things were equal scenario there. All right, so Michigan now forced to punt yet again, and that's going to be blocked. And 99 and Syracuse, whenever uh, 9 comes up, it's a possible block here on the punt chart. You will then go look at the block rating, and if it is, again, 9s, it's going to be a block. And I'm not going to I'm not going to use uh, the event chart in this. Normally, this is the first 99 roll, so this would be a uh, look at the event chart. But we're just going to play without events in this game. So that's actually going to be a block. So on the block return, you'll roll a 1d10 here and nine. So that's going to direct us to the team interception chart for uh, Syracuse, which again is right here. One more time on the roll, and a roll of six. That's going to be an eight-yard return, so that is going to get it down to the 35-yard line of uh, the Wolverines, and Syracuse will be right into the second portion of quick play. So what we'll document here, 35 plus, indicating they took over in plus territory. We don't fill that first portion of the simulated drive. Straight to the second, Syracuse looking to capitalize early on these Michigan mistakes. 26, uh, they're not going to get a chance to punch that in, though. It's uh, going to be a kick. So roll of seven, five plays, 18 yards, and the drive will stall, which is going to get it down to the 17. And Syracuse is going to have to attempt a field goal. So from the 17, this will be a 34-yard attempt. Syracuse is 0 to 76. Kick is up, and it is good. So the Orangemen take a early 10-0 lead. And this will be the final drive of the first quarter for Michigan as they find themselves here in an early hole. So Syracuse tees it up, kicks it away, and 3-D. That is going to be at the goal line. Michigan's going to get a chance to run that out. And 4C on the return, and that is going to be a 15-yard return. So Michigan, field position is getting worse every time they have the ball. Final drive of the first quarter. And the Wolverines, again, are going to get stuffed. Eight, that is going to be three plays, no yards. So a literal pure three and out and third punt for the Wolverines. Hoping they can get this one away. Six, and they do indeed get this punter away. And up for the E column, six is going to be a 27-yard punt. So to compound things, a terrible punt. That's going to come down at the 42-yard line. So already in plus territory is Syracuse and a four on the return. Punt return D, four, and that is going to be a three-yard return. So that gets it down to the 39. And again, because Syracuse is in plus territory, they're going to jump right into the second portion of the simulated drive. And things are not going Michigan's way early in this one as we uh, start the first drive of the second quarter, Syracuse. And Syracuse is going to get stuffed as well, so roll of 20 on the kick chart. It's actually going to be uh, three plays and a negative six, or negative 2d6, sorry. And I could have used those because there was no penalty. We'll just roll them again. It's still going to be a, a negative eight yards. So that punches Syracuse back to the Michigan 47, and now they're going to have to punt finally. So Michigan's defense, the offense is floundering early in this one. In fact, through the first quarter, uh, the Wolverines only have a total of 20 yards in uh, total offense. So Syracuse in to punt it, and we'll see what they could do. Zeros, it's going to be a team chart if it, or a team return chart for Michigan if it stays in the field of play. 
and Syracuse is a D. Zero D is going to be a 25-yard punt. So another terrible punt. That comes down actually at the 22, and we already know the zero goes to the Michigan team chart. And they do have Woodson here returning punts. That's going to be a one. Just missed a TD. It's going to be an eight-yard return instead. So Michigan starting their fourth possession of the game on their own 30-yard line. And Greasy back out. See if he can get the offense going here finally for the Wolverines. Again, going in the minus two row. 44, that's just going to get in there. That'll be a successful drive finally. So from the 30-yard line, it's going to be a five-play 39-yard drive. So Michigan's offense finally finding some life here in the second quarter. And that's going to get it down to the 31-yard line of Hughes. Second portion of the drive, Michigan staying in that minus two row. And 42 minus two, again, they're going to have a successful drive. So roll of two and no penalty. Roll of two and the quick play finish, three plays, 40 yards. They only had to go 31, so that will be three plays, 31 yards, and touchdown for the Wolverines. So Michigan on the board. And we'll roll to see who... Uh, First of all, if it was a run or a pass, I've got to go back and do Syracuse. Is there? Actually, no, Syracuse was a big play. Never mind. So six, you hear, you see here, quick play TD, zero to five is a run, six to nine is a pass. So six, that will be a pass. 14, and the receiver there is going to be Williams because 14, 13 and 15 here are the numbers you're used. So 14 and 15, it's Williams. So Williams has a touchdown for the Wolverines. And extra point is going to be up and good. And Michigan has cut it to 10 to 7. Here in the second quarter. And Syracuse now set to take their second possession. And Michigan, they've uh, given Syracuse a ball in plus territory. Last two times, so they'll be welcome this chance to pin Syracuse deep and let the defense go back to work. Oh, and one, one more thing there. Um, you see, I do fill the play-by-play -play sheets in with uh, the players' names because that transfers to the individual team tabs. So you are going to want to go back and add in uh, touchdowns whenever a touchdown pass occurs for the quarterbacks at least. So we'll give Greasy his, and that will transfer over. And Michigan now kicking off. And again, Michigan's kickoff team is an E, one E, and that's going to be down to the goal line. Return for Syracuse, and they're going to see if they can get some good field position here. Kickoff return B, roll of three, and that's going to be a 27-yard return. So Syracuse, each team will have one more possession in the first half after this. Syracuse taking over on their own 27. Ernie Davis back on the field and 95, 95, that's not going to be good. That's going to be a possible interception. And you see here for Surratt, uh, Surratt interception rating is 1 to 16, 1 to 19 with adjustment. It's going to be 1 to 19 regardless because Michigan is a plus 8 in their adjustment. They had a ball hawking se uh, secondary. So three, and again, I'll just show you, whenever there's a possible turnover, instead of going where the ball is placed or where the drive starts, you'll go to that specific column. So roll of three on possible interception. It's going to be four plays, 16 yards, and if it's not picked, it will be a kick. So that's going to be up to the 43-yard line. And only a 20 will save an interception. 16, that is indeed picked off. And we will do the interception return. So interception return of one, and that's going to be five yards, so that'll take it down to the 38-yard line. And now Michigan is the one taking advantage of plus uh, territory field position. Uh, Syracuse com uh, commits the first turnover of the game. And Michigan will take their final drive of the first half, starting at the Syracuse 38-yard line. And again, we go straight to the second portion of the quick play drive because we're in quick uh, plus territory here. 
All right, roll of 0-2, and Mishkin's going to get stymied there. Uh, 0-2 roll of 1 is going to be a 5-play, 22-yard drive, so that's going to stall at the 16-yard line. And this will be a 33-yard field goal. Michigan's going to tee it up and take a shot. Uh, 33 yards, 0-62. to 62. It is up, and it's good, and we have a tie ball game. So first quarter belonging to Cuse, and Michigan is stormed back in the second quarter. And knotted this thing up at 10. Syracuse, their final possession, heading into halftime. Offense will be looking to get that momentum back as Michigan tees it up. Here comes a kickoff, and again, Michigan is an E. So 6E, and that is going to be down to the 5-yard line for Syracuse. And Syracuse bringing that back. 4B on the return, and 4B on the return is going to be a 36-yard return. So Syracuse all the way up to their 41-yard line, and they're going to get a good opportunity here to go into the locker room and reclaim the lead. Simulated portion of the drive and going off the even category, roll of 25, they're going to be stopped again. So low rolls here on the last few drives. Roll of 9, three plays, no yards. So Syracuse shut down. Uh, we will roll for the punt just to see if there is a block or big play return. And then it will be halftime. So 6, Syracuse. Punting D and 6D is going to be a 35-yard punt. It's not going to be blocked. 2 on the return. Uh, 2 on the return is going to be... Michigan is uh, a C on the punt return. So 2C, no return, so no need to play that out any further. We will go into halftime. We're scored at 10, so or tied at 10, sorry. So Syracuse owned the first uh, quarter, Michigan the second, and let's just take a look at our halftime total stats here. So, so far, Michigan 14 carries, 36 yards, Syracuse 17 for 76, Syracuse dominating on the ground. Total yards very close, however. Michigan in nine pass attempts, 76 yards. 23 plays, 112 total yards. Syracuse, five pass attempts, 32 yards, 22 plays, 108. So, again, a very fast-moving first half. And that will happen when you're playing defensively. We'll see if those plays even out a little bit in the second half. And again, with both teams kind of ground-oriented, the clock's going to burn quicker. And, and so you'll get a good variety of plays, even in quick play mode, um, that... that usually fairly do emulate close to what the team did in real life. Um, again, this, the timing in this is based solely on possessions. There's no individual uh, clock usage or 30 seconds per play, whatever the case may be, that you'll find in some other football games. So that is one big difference there. All right, so Syracuse uh, set to receive the second half kickoff. And for Michigan, it's going to go down to the 10-yard line and on the return a six and it's going up to the 35 so 35 yard line Syracuse has really except for their first drive had pretty solid field position the entire game just got to get the offense untracked here in the second half not going to happen on this drive though that's going to be five plays 22 yards and a kick opportunity so 22 65 that'll be down to the 33 yard line And from the 33, that's going to be a 40, or I'm sorry, 50-yard field goal attempt. Syracuse, you see here, they uh, their longest, their max is 46. So it would be 0 to 9 because for every yard over their max, you take 10 off the uh, range of the maximum, which is 40 to 49. So it takes from 0 to 49 down to 0 to 9, and not very good odds. Uh, Syracuse, they're kind of in no man's land here. And uh, they're going to go ahead and punt. And in hybrid mode, we depending on what the down and distance was, we would go for it here. But we're going to punt and try and pin uh, Wolverines deep. So Syracuse's uh, punt rating is a D. So several there that could get the job done. And seven, that's going to be 38. That will bounce into the end zone, though. A touchback, and the Wolverines will bring it out to the 20-yard line to start their first possession of the second half. 
So things have turned and Michigan, after a rough first quarter, has just taken things over here. 22. Uh, they're going to get shut down here though. Roll of 17. That's going to be 6 plays, 25 yards. So they get it up to the 45 and their drive is going to stall. And after two successive scoring drives, Michigan will go back and have to punt again on their first possession of the third quarter. So good defensive slobber knocker and 98 uh, and 9 and 8. Again, they just missed having a punt block. Michigan, they've got to shore up the uh, blocking up front there on the punt team. That's going to be a 36-yard punt. Down to the 19-yard line and Syracuse 8 on the return. Syracuse again on the return is a D. So 8-D, no return and Syracuse takes over on their own 19. And each team will have one more third quarter possession after this drive. So Syracuse trying to get something going. 99 and 99, we do have to go to the event chart there. And I'm going to have to bring that up. All right, on the event chart, let's see what we have here. Let's get that up to 100% so that shows up a little better. All right, on the event chart, and again, it's a 2D10 roll. I'm glad we, I needed to show you this anyway. So injury to quarterback, out for the game, minus one result column for all pass plays rest of the game. And uh, because we're not in hybrid or play-by-play -play mode, it will just be a minus one adjustment to the roll on the drive chart. So that's how that works. All right, so we will redo that drive. And again, with the uh, what I'll do here is just basically take Syracuse's offense for both portions of the drive down a number. So that will make them a minus one on the first half and zero on the second half. That way my old brain does not have to remember any of that. And Syracuse is going to get stopped, however, in the injury to Surrett. Obviously a big blow there. Six plays, 19 yards on the drive. They get it out to the 38-yard line and a defensive battle is broken out here in this one. As the dice gods demand low scoring football here, the punt team comes on for the Orangemen. And punt D, that's going to be a shank 25 yards off the foot. Down to the 37 yard lines where that's going to come down. And three on the return for Michigan. And Michigan's punt return again is a C. It's going to be a fair catch. So Michigan. Starts their final possession of the third quarter on their own 37. And let's see if Michigan can storm back and take the lead here. Again, we have yet to have a penalty come up in our quick play mode today. So Michigan on the minus two column and roll of 80 that's going to be a big play run so again you'll mark big play here because you're assigning that stat individually and big play second half the uh, recipient of that big play number two is going to be Howard and the reason we carve the big plays out is because they're carved out of the final uh, statistical adjustments in uh, quick play and hybrid mode so we can track who actually uh, and give credit to that, um, actually um, achieve the big plays there. So again, we'll roll the uh, 1d10 one more time. Check on the Michigan big play two chart. That's going to be a 26 yard gain. So it'll get it down to the 37 yard line of Syracuse. Give Howard credit there and into our second portion of the drive now, Wolverines. Looking to take command and 87, that's going to be, again off the minus two column, 87, that's going to be a big pass play. So the Wolverines striking here, uh, big plays, ground and air, and the receiver on this eight is going to be uh, Tooman. So the way that will work is document Tooman's name here, 
and roll again on the big play result roll of one big play two and you go off the long pass whenever there's a big play in a simulated portion of the drive and that's going to be a 46 yard gain so that is long enough 37 yard touchdown to Tuman. So he'll get credit for that, and we will bounce over and give Greasy his second touchdown pass here. And again, this is just so it carries over to the final stats page. So extra point for the Wolverines as they have stormed back in front. And we'll just mark another big play result here. All right, extra point for Michigan, and that's going to be blocked again. Second time they have had a kick block today. Unbelievable. Uh, we'll go on the uh, return, and that's going to be a minus 10, so that is deflected, goes into the end zone, and that is that. It's going to be 16 to 10 now as Michigan special teams letting them down. Syracuse now set to get their final drive of the third quarter. And again, Michigan will get three drives in the fourth, Syracuse two. Here comes a kickoff by the Wolverines. Uh, 4E, that's going to be down to the five-yard line and a return of seven. For Syracuse, 24-yard line, so up to the 29-yard line where the Orangemen will take over, and they are desperate to have a good drive here. And again, starting quarterback was out due to the event chart, so their uh, drive is coming off the minus one column here, and they're going to get stuffed again. So Syracuse getting shut down, five plays, 15 yards. It's going to be up to the 44-yard line, and yet another punt. Syracuse now, after scoring on the first two possessions, has had either a punt or a turnover on five straight drives. Six straight drives, sorry. And that's going to be, this will bring the third quarter to an end after we execute the punt. So Syracuse punt from the D column one is going to be a 40-yard punt. Down to the 16-yard line and the return for 4C. And that's going to be a 4-yard return. So Michigan will take over at the 20 as we move into the fourth quarter. And the Wolverines in a very hard-fought, good old Midwestern in the trenches kind of game hold a 16-10 lead heading into the fourth quarter. And Michigan look to get a little insurance here, and they are hitting on those big plays. 81, it's going to be another big play run too. 16 is the ball carrier. And 16 there is going to be Williams. So Williams and no penalty again, five. We'll see what Williams has. And five, big play run two. That's going to be a huge 58-yard gallop. Unbelievable. Michigan busting it open, and that's going to take it all the way down to the Syracuse 22, where they'll look to finish this drive. And put the dagger in, and Michigan going to minus two here on the second portion of the drive. 35, and they're going to be stuffed. And 11 is going to be four plays, 12 yards. And when you get a kick result, so I, I want to explain this fully. When a drive stalls on the 10 or inside the 10, you'll do that extra D20 roll for the goal line result to add, a, you know, if, and if it's successful, which means here for Michigan, if they're adjusted, it would have to be 10 or less. It would be one more play and then 10 yards for the touchdown. Because they were specifically stopped here, you do not get to do that option, so they don't have a choice. They'll have to try a field goal here. So just really wanted to make uh, that 100% clear. So four plays, 12 yards, and this will be a 27-yarder. And from 27, 0 to 97, and no blocks this time. That is up and comfortably good. Michigan now extends their lead to 19 to 10. And Syracuse in a little bit of trouble here as the Wolverines rebounding after that rough first quarter to take control of this game. Michigan set to kick it off. 
Syracuse has two drives. Michigan has two drives left in this ball game. And here comes a kickoff eight. That's going to be down to the 10. And Syracuse looking to bring that out. 7B on the return is going to be a 24 yard return. So up to the 34 yard line. Syracuse again, decent field position. They've got to take advantage. And earlier on, of course, their starting quarterback knocked out of the game. And 96, uh, it is showing here. 96 is going to be a possible interception. And things just continue to go from bad to worse for Syracuse. 16 on the interception. That's only going to be three plays, nine yards. And if they do not get picked, they're going to have to punt. But they are probably going to get intercepted because Michigan intercepts on 19 or less. So only 20 saves them. That's picked off. And the interception return to... It's going to be 10 yards, so from the 43 down to the 33, and Michigan, once again, taking advantage of a turnover. Syracuse's second turnover of the game. Michigan now on the 33-yard line, and we'll jump right into the second portion of the quick play drive. As Michigan, 88, and Michigan, 0-2 here. They are rolling those high numbers. 88 is going to be a big play pass. And that is most definitely going to be in the end zone. So this is a, uh, an abundance of big plays for Michigan. And this is going to skew the quick play stats, obviously, just a little bit. Uh, normally, you do not get this many, especially this many in a row. But after teasing them the first quarter, the uh, again, the dice gods have fallen in love with Michigan. And 19, the recipient of that's going to be Shea. So fourth big play of the day for uh, the Wolverines, and we'll roll on the big play two column. Long pass, roll of eight, and that's going to be 40 yards. That will be a 33-yard touchdown strike to Shea, and yet another touchdown for Brian Greasy. Greasy playing like his father here in this one. Third touchdown pass is going to extend the Wolverines' lead, and extra point going to be up and good and Michigan now extends their lead to 26 to 10. So Syracuse you see at this stage of the game this will be the 10th and final drive for Syracuse so really not much they can do here except make it respectable if Michigan has just pulled away after the first quarter. And Michigan will go into kill the clock mode if Syracuse is not successful here. So kickoff for the Wolverines, too. That's going to go down to the goal line. And eight on the return is going to be a 20-yard return, Syracuse. Final drive of the game for the Orange Man. They're going to take Orange Man, I should say. Sorry, take over at their own 20. And again, losing their quarterback has killed them in this game. Uh, this time, though, they're finally going to have a successful drive. So from the 20, roll of four. And that's going to be a nice seven-play, 60-yard drive. So Syracuse and perhaps Michigan putting in some substitutions as Syracuse gets it down to the Michigan 20 as we jump into the second half of the drive. Coming out of the zero column here, looking to make it respectable. Syracuse 93, that's going to be up in turnover territory again. And not good for uh, Syracuse 17. Uh, that's going to be a touchdown if it's not picked off. So that will be four plays and 20 yards. But again, the only thing that can save them here is a 20. And it is picked off in the end zone. And Michigan is not going to try and bring that out. They'll take it at their own 20. And a drive-killing, game-killing interception. Third interception of the day for the ball hawking Wolverine, Syracuse. Just fell apart after that first half. So we're going to jump into kill the clock mode. How does that work? Well, again, at this stage of the game, final drive, 16-point lead. Absolutely not a thing that Syracuse can do. So we will automatically we'll roll for the uh, penalty, which there is not. Automatically, we'll just roll in the punt column here and whatever the result is Michigan is just basically going to run run out the clock five plays 18 yards that's it and that is going to be the ball game so the Wolverines storm back from a 10-0 first quarter deficit 
to run away with this one in the second half. Your final score, 1997 Michigan Wolverines, led by Brian Greasy, 26, and Ernie Davis's 1959 Syracuse Orangemen, 10. So let's uh, first of all take a look at our, or go into our stat helper and sort all that out. So I already filled this in so that the uh, carries and whatnot would be distributed. And this is for Michigan, of course. They were the visiting team today. So you see our big plays are going to get carried over here. So first of all, uh, for Howard, his simulated portion was 13 carries for 47 yards. Then he had the one carry for 26, which is the big play. That gives him 14 for 73 on the day. Uh, Thomas is going to get his 10 and 26. Floyd, 3 and 8. And finally, Williams, he had 3 and 11, but again, he had the other big play and busted off a big run. And that was a 58-yarder, so he'll get uh, that added into his total. Four carries for 69 yards for Williams. And... Brian Greasy is going to be three for a negative four. And finally McCall, two for three. Now we'll balance up. So what we're gonna have to do there is adjust uh, two carries in here. You can either take it from the leading, the yardage should always go to the leading ball carry yardage adjustments. Here we're gonna take uh, McCall, say he got zero carries in the game. That means we just have to adjust five yards, and that comes off of Howard's. So there are your final stats for rushing for Michigan. They balance up. And very interesting on the passing stats. We'll uh, do the base and then add in the big plays there. And definitely in terms of uh, Michigan receivers, there was a big gap in terms of yards per uh, touch. I do not know why Excel wants to do that. All right, so our big plays, Tooman, he had um, two for 19, and so we'll do his adjustments here. Two for 19, then he had one for 37. So his final carries are going to be three for 56. Uh, Shea had the other big play. And Shea is right here. His uh, simulated was one for four. And big play, one for 33. So that puts Shea at two for 37. All right, balance up. We need to take off the last catch from the low man on the totem pole, which is Floyd, so no catches for him. And then our final adjustment, Howard, who was uh, Michigan's leading receiver, a lot of checkdowns that year, he's going to get credit for those excess yards, and that's going to put his final total three receptions for eight yards. So let's go over our final stats now for the Wolverines. Once again, Howard, 14 carries, 68 yards. And uh, Thomas, 10 for 26. Floyd, 3 for 8. And I didn't give Shea his last touchdown. That's okay. I'll remember that. Um, Greasy, or Williams, 4 for 69. Greasy, 3 for minus 4. Receptions, Howard, 3 for 8. Toom, 3 for 56 and a touchdown. Streets, 2 for 17. Thomas, 1 for minus 1. Williams, one for one and a touchdown there. Shaw, one for six. Woodson, one for 12. And Shea, two for 37, and he had a touchdown as well. Uh, Greasy throwing the ball, 14 for 21, 136 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Uh, the Wolverines ran for 167 on the ground. And Syracuse, who was stymied most of the day, let's go to an finish up their stats. So big play running. Davis had the only big play of the day for uh, Cuse. So 10 for 56 in simulated mode for Davis and he's going to end up 11 for 74 
on the day. Everybody else gets what they get and Now, as you can see, it, it's really fairly quick to just go ahead and figure this out. So here we have to balance and you see right here, it's going to be three carries here and minus five net. And so everything balances out there. Again, what you want here is zeros and make sure these two columns and especially this column match what's here in the yellow. All right, for receptions, no big plays receiving for Syracuse. And again, they lost their quarterback. Uh, here you see, due to the percentage, we have two extra receptions of 38 extra yards. They are going to go to the number one receiver. And here in the yellow, it'll tell you what to throw there. So he's going to get three receptions for 51 yards, and Syracuse is balanced. Their stats are done. So let's uh, add up stats for Syracuse. Uh, Baker, 10 for 36. Ernie Davis, 11 for 74. He did have a decent day, and he scored... Uh, Syracuse's only touchdown. Weber, one for 14. Surrett, four for two. Nichols, three for minus five. Receiving Martino, three for 51. Schwedes, one for eight. Uh, Stoneski, one for 20. Davis, one for eight. Weber, one for eight. And that is it. Surrett, and he was injured, of course, on the event, but uh, Syracuse quarterback, seven for 12, 95 yards. No. Uh, touchdowns and three, which I did not put. Three interceptions, so three very costly interceptions for Syracuse. And our final total stats, a dominating defensive performance by 97 Michigan, and they did have a very good defense that year. So Michigan, 34 carries, 167 yards rushing. Syracuse, 40 for 158. Michigan, 21 pass attempts, 136. Cuse, 12 for 95. So total yardage, Michigan, 55 total plays, 303 yards. And Syracuse, 52 for 253. And again, a very stellar defensive performance. And that is it. So quick play version of Glory Days College Football featuring the all-time great teams, 97 Michigan and 59 Cuse. And full stats applied for all individual players. That's how easy it is, guys. And you still get through a game pretty quick, even to simulating and keeping stats and assigning them at the end. So that's it. Any questions, and hopefully that did answer any questions anyone has, especially regarding the penalties, which of course did not come up. But uh, <laughs> um, if you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, please hit that thumbs up button for me and subscribe to the channel. And again, Glory Days College Football released this past Friday. SidelineStrategy.com, uh, home of payoff pitch baseball, Joe Bryan's great game and also uh, my boxing game, Glory Days Boxing. So I hope you all have a good rest of your Sunday. Anthony with Bleacher Bums Gaming, take care, and we'll talk to you later.